Okay, guys, I am moving right on, and I am moving to First Chronicles, chapter 19. And again, I am reading the King James Version, so grab your Bibles, and come on, let's get into Word and feed our spirits. First Chronicles, chapter 19, it says, Now it came to pass after this, that Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will shew kindness unto Hanan, the son of Nahash, because his father shewed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanan to comfort him. But the princess of the children of Ammon said to Hanan, hmm. Thinkest thou that David doth honor thy father? That he hath sent comforters unto thee? Are not his servants come unto thee for to search and to overthrow and to spy out the land? Wherefore, Hanan took David's servant and shaved them and cut off their garments in the midst of hard by their buttocks and sent them away. Then there went certain and told David how the men were served. And he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious, to David, Hanan and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them, chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia and out of Sirimiaka and out of Zoba. So they <laughs> hired thirty and two thousand chariots and the king of Miaka and his people who came and pitched before Mediba. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities and came to battle. And when David heard of it, <laughs> he sent Joab and all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array before the gate of the city. And the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Israel and put them in array against Syria. And the rest of the people he delivered into the hand of Abishai his brother, and they sent themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, If the Syrians be too strong for me, then thou shalt help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for thee, then I will help thee. <laughs> be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people and for the cities of our God, and let the Lord do that which is good in his sight. So Joab and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Syrians unto the battle, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians were fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother and entered into the city. Then Joab came to Jerusalem, and when the Syrians saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, they sent messengers and drew forth the Syrians that were beyond the river, and Shophash, the captain of the host of Hadarezer, went before them, and it was told David. And he gathered all Israel, and passed over Jordan, and came unto them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, they fought with him. But the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew of the Syrians seven thousand men which fought in chariots and forty thousand footmen and killed 
Shofash, the captain of the host. And when the servants of Hadarezhar saw that they were put to the worst before Israel, <laughs> they made peace with David and became his servant. Became his servants. Neither would the Syrians help the children of Ammon anymore. Thus ends the reading of First Chronicles chapter nineteen. Thank you for reading the Word of God with me, and I pray that we would go in, meditate on the Word, study the Word, and let the Word marinate in our spirits, and let's be in obedience. Stay blessed, everybody. I am continuing to read the Word of God, and First Chronicles would be coming up next.